everyone it's time for virtual camp for august and today we are painting a jellyfish on a canvas and then you will also have like um a board with some seashells um, and some watercolors that we're going to basically just kind of make a seashell collage um, so if you have a hot glue gun might be really helpful to have that today. Um, if not, you can use squeeze glue. You're just gonna have to make sure um, you let it dry all the way completely before you try to move it, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is get some clothes on that can get messy. You will want to um, cover up your table because you don't wanna make a mess, right? And I just wanna show you an example of the painting that we're going to be doing. It's gonna kind of look like that. Now, notice how she has like polka dots at the top. Don't have to do that, that's an option. Um, you, we don't have to use the same colors. You don't have to use the same colors I'm going to use. This is your jellyfish. Um, once you are painting, if you wanna put like a crab in here or some seashells or some starfish, you can put whatever you want in this painting. Um, obviously, I want you to paint the jellyfish. If you wanna paint the whole jellyfish purple, go for it, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get started here. I have like a whole bunch of different paint colors. Um, I really don't know what I wanna paint first. Um, I think I may go ahead and start by painting the jellyfish first. Now, if you are watching at home, and you're like, oh man, I didn't know this was happening today. So I did not get a kit. You can get a canvas from the store and you can draw your own jellyfish on here. It's kind of pretty simple to do. Um, I'm gonna hold this up again for you so you can see. If you're allowed to use the computer, you could Google a jellyfish. So you can kind of get the shape. Um, maybe you can even trace a bowl to get a nice rounded top. And then put some tentacles on there. We have one, two, three, four, five, five tentacles. And honestly, I don't even know if that's what it's called for a jellyfish. So if I'm wrong, I apologize. Um, I'm mixing right now orange and pink. I just wanna see what kind of shade I can get. And I mean, you can make your jellyfish whatever color you want. I am using some orange and some pink. And you're gonna need to have um, either a cup of water or if you have um, multiple paintbrushes, you're gonna wanna have multiple paintbrushes. And why do you ask? Well, just because if you're gonna be changing colors, you wanna rinse off your paintbrush, or like I said, just have multiple paintbrushes and then you can just kind of switch it out when you need one. So that's what I'm doing. Since I'm at work, I have access to a lot of paintbrushes, which makes it kind of nice for me. More cleaning up to do later, but that way I don't have to remember to bring a cup of water. So remember, with this canvas, since I have it pre-drawn on here for you, this is kind of just like coloring a picture out of a coloring book. So when you get to the edge line, just go nice and slow with your paintbrush. That way you don't go outside the lines, right? Now, if you wanna go outside the lines, you can totally go outside the lines. But if you take your time and go nice and slow, you will be staying inside the lines. So, so, so. So now, like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and start painting. Now, um, like I said, you can do whatever colors you want. You're probably gonna have some pinks. You're gonna have some orange. If you wanna blend the colors together to give yourself a different shade, go for it. That's the fun part about paint. You can kind of make your own color, so that makes it kind of cool. And then you have to think with the tentacles. Hmm, do you want them to all be the same color? 
Do you want, oh, I've got paint all over the place already. Do you want them to all be the same color? Do you want it to be like every other color? So you have to kind of decide what you want to do there. I am kind of making a mess when I get my paint on my paintbrush. I'm getting it on my canvas. So I always like to try to think where I'm gonna hang my canvas or place my canvas when I'm finished. I'm picking it up because like I said, I'm making a mess. My paint is dripping off my paintbrush when I try to get new paint on here. So see how I'm just going nice and slow along the edges. Now, if you think of it, try to remember to see if your parents will let you take a picture and send it to me or to send to us here at Town Hall because I always like to see what everyone else's artwork looks like. Because see, we're all painting a jellyfish, but every single jellyfish is gonna look different. And that's what makes it so fun. Because everybody's artwork is unique, right? Don't you love it when we paint and it's just so quiet? So I know this week some school started. So if you are old enough for school, I think if you go to Groveport schools, I think you guys start on Monday. So this might be your last virtual camp with me. <gasps> but guess what? I'm still gonna do weekly videos. So that's cool. So like if you need a break from doing your online schoolwork, or if you're just like, oh my gosh, I miss Miss Kristen so much, which I know you will, you can still watch art videos and craft videos from me at Town Hall, right? So usually I think what they do, um, I just make the videos, I don't put them on the website, but I'm pretty sure they just put the link on our Groveport Town Hall Facebook page. And then what you will do is you will look at the picture of the craft or the artwork that I made, and then you'll say, oh, I think I really like that. I wanna try that. So you'll go to that one, and then there will be a link that takes you to YouTube. And that is where you can actually watch the video. And you can watch it with no sound, Trust me, I don't mind. I know my voice kind of probably sounds crazy. So you can watch my video with no sound. You can watch it super loud like you're at a rock concert. You can hit pause. You can watch it over and over again. You can watch it with your family, with your friends. So yeah, even if you're going back to school next week, I will still have videos. Pretty sure I've got three a week. Um, so we'll still be able to do activities together through the computer, which is fun. And if you don't have the art supplies I have at home, remember you can usually figure it out by just using other items. Um, and usually if I have a kid available, their parents can call us here at Town Hall to sign up for a kit. And then they can swing by Town Hall and pick it up, okay? Pretty easy stuff. All right, so here is the top part of my jellyfish. I should have done more research. I did not look it up to see if there's a special name for the top part of the jellyfish. No idea. Um, let's see here. I am going to do, I think, a light pink. Ooh, I like it with the orange in there. Maybe I'll do light pink and orange. Hopefully you guys like this shade. Not sure what I would call that. Sorry, this video is kind of quiet. Oh, it's kind of like um peachy apricotty kind of color. Or maybe even more of like a carnation pink. 
If in your Crayola box you have carnation pink, see? That's kind of what it looks like. And like I said, you don't have to do the same colors I'm doing. You can make your jellyfish any color you like. Some of you are probably surprised that I am using these colors instead of blue, but I'm gonna put some blue water in the background. So I wanted my jellyfish to stand out a little bit. So again, I'm at the edge of the line here and I'm just going, can you even see, I'm sorry. I'm just going nice and slow to stay in the lines. Hopefully nobody will bump me. If you have any pets, you might have a dog or a cat that might be nosing around trying to figure out what you're doing. Probably thinking, pay attention to me. All right. How's it coming? Okay. Okay, I hate when I get to the bottom. I need a smaller paintbrush. It's not so wonky. So I don't want to go outside the lines. Remember, you can always use the tip of your paintbrush too. I'm going to just kind of dab. Dab, 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 dab. That just helps me to stay in line a little bit better. Okay, tentacle number one is done. So I am gonna go ahead and finish painting here. I want you to finish painting and then I'm gonna show you the painting of the background, okay? So let's go ahead and move on to the board. So your board might be a different size, um, just depending on what I had um, in stock here at Town Hall. Next, what you're gonna do is go ahead and take a paintbrush and you're gonna dip it into your, into your paint and you're just gonna paint the board to give it a background. Doesn't matter what color you do, you can do any color you want. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use the acrylic paint. I got ahead of the game. Um, the uh, watercolor paint is for the seashells. And I kind of was not paying attention and I just put my paintbrush into the watercolor and I didn't mean to do that. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just painting a background onto my piece of wood doesn't have to be any particular colors. Um, it can be whatever you want. It can be all one color. It could be stripes. It could be zigzags. It could be whatever, whatever, whatever you want. So that's what I'm doing right now. And again, what we're doing here is just kind of like um, a seashell collage. I can't say the word seashell very well, it seems. So right now, like I said, we're just gonna kind of give the board a background color so it's not all white. And then while that is drying, what we will do is we will paint our seashells. Now there are tons and tons and tons and tons of different ways that you can dye seashells. We are just gonna go ahead and use watercolor, okay? Right, so basically, I just colored some blue colors on here. Mixed them together with some greens. Got it on my hand, no big deal. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of set this over here so it can dry a little. Now you've got some seashells, and now I need to find another paintbrush. Where are my paintbrushes? So I didn't bring a whole bunch of colors with me, but if you take your uh, watercolor, and I gave you liquid watercolors. This will stain a super, super bunch. And I really mean it when I say stain a super, super bunch. So your hands might stay that color until tomorrow, even if you take a shower or a bath. 
it just really stains. So make sure that you have the table covered, the desk covered. You have your least favorite shirt on because it will get stained, I promise you. It's almost as bad as food coloring, I know. But so what you'll do is you'll just color your seashells, paint them, dye them, whatever word you wanna use. But the liquid watercolor really, really likes seashells. It just really coats them nice and dark. And it really coats my fingers nice and dark, so that's cool. See all the things I do for you kids for art? You guys are worth it. Worth it, worth it, worth it. So I'm gonna do this one a dark blue. Then what you have to do is you have to set this aside so that it can dry before you glue them onto, see, look at this, before you glue them onto your board. So I'm gonna go ahead, just so I don't knock them over on me, I'm gonna put my lids back on because obviously I have trouble staying clean. And I'm just gonna wait for my board to dry a little bit longer. So I'm gonna show you, which is still wet, but I'm gonna show you the jellyfish painting. So here's my finished product. So I just, I did give it some polka dots. I told you, you don't have to. I just thought, eh, it needs something besides just the pinkish colors. And then I just did a background of different shades of blue, just because sometimes the ocean to me looks like it's different blues and greens. So like I said, this is your artwork, your painting, you do you, okay? So whatever you like best is how I want it to look. I may still go back and tweak it a little bit. I don't know, once it dries, I might add some other colors. Okay, so again, this is really not dry. We're going to pretend though. And so basically, this is where I had mentioned that a hot glue gun will work the best. Um, I have some seashells that I dyed earlier so they would be dry. Now this is really tricky. Um, you may wanna have an adult help you. I'd say it would be easier to put the glue down first, but the problem is mine's really wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to squeeze my glue onto the edges of my seashell. Let's see how burnt I get, right? And like I said, it might be easier for you if you just put the glue down on your board. All right, and then just kind of place it wherever you like. And this is just a seashell, see I said it a little bit better that time, a seashell collage. So the fun part here is just all the colors you can use. We used acrylic paint. We painted on the board, which I don't know if you've ever done that before. And you use watercolors, which I've never given you before, at least not in an at-home kit. Um, it's very cool though. It's a fun little art project to do. And then it's just up to you where you want to decide to place your shells. So the watercolor dries a lot quicker on a seashell than acrylic paint is drying on my project. That's okay though. I'm really trying not to burn myself. It's very tricky. It's very stringy too. Look at that. Oh my goodness gracious. Ah. All right, so I'm just gonna show you, flip it around real quick so you can see. Like I said, mine is still really, really wet. But look at that. So you can barely see this one because of the shade of the blue. But again, this is just a fun little collage piece that we're doing. If you did not get a kit from me here and you have seashells at home, you can go ahead and do this too. So just find, even if you don't have wood, just use like a piece of canvas. Right, you can put it on a piece of paper. This is just a little bit more sturdy. Once this dries, um, I won't be so nervous about my seashell sliding. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish my gluing. 
you just need to finish your painting or your gluing or whatever you need to work on um, and then go ahead and find a great spot in your house to set this stuff up right so that pretty much is it I can't even believe I'm saying it but that is it for our virtual camps for August so next month um, just because I mentioned a lot of you guys are going to be going back to school we will still be having videos I will still be doing three videos a week I'm not calling them virtual camp because um, we might not do as many projects each video session um, just because I know you guys have schoolwork that you're going to have to do. So it might just be one project per video, but stay tuned every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Fridays will still be at 11, Mondays, Wednesdays at 2 for an arts and craft video. And again, sometimes if I have supplies available, um, your parents can call in and sign up to come get a free kit, okay? So have a great weekend. Um, make sure you go to bed early so that you're well rested for your first day of school. Be good listeners for your mom, your dad, your grandma, your aunt, your neighbor, your cousin, your babysitter, whoever it is that's gonna be helping you with your online schooling. So good luck, have a great year, and I will hopefully see you guys next week for some more fun, okay? I'll see you later, bye.